colour makeup paints. So excuse the kind of not really made up messy hair, um, but I wanted to do an eyebrow video for you and I didn't just want to talk about um, the products, I also wanted to show you how I use them. Um, so I was going to do <laughs> one eyebrow and start with one eyebrow done, but I thought no, no way. So, <laughs> so I'm going to fill both of them in. So my brows. Um, I have quite fair hair on my brows. It's a very light brown colour and I do have hair here although it doesn't look like I do it's just it's incredibly sparse so this is where I have my problems I have very sparse hair here and I do have a little bit of thickness and unevenness whereas one brow is slightly thicker in this area than the other one but I do overall love the shape of my brows I like the shape of them I think they're just a quite nice arch um, and yeah I like them but I do nowadays like to take more care of them than I used to. I didn't used to really do anything with them. And then I discovered the Rimmel eyebrow pencil and I used to get mine in blonde because I do have very light hair and the brown one was just too dark. So what you really need to do is check these things out. Don't just automatically buy the one for your hair colour. So if you're blo um, a brown head, brown head, a <laughs> brunette, don't automatically think, oh yeah, so the brown pencil is going to be the one for me. You need to check them on the back of your hand, look at the colour and think about whether that is suitable for you. So that's what I used to use. I don't have one to show you, unfortunately, because I don't actually use those pencils any longer. Um, I did use them up until about a year and a half ago and then I discovered powder products, which I much prefer for my brows. Um, so, But I, I would recommend the Rimmel one because it is a fantastic pencil and I did use it for a very long time. Um, I've now moved on to powder products as I said and I've got a few here to show you that I currently use. Um, so we're starting with the one I guess that I use the most which is HD Brows. This one is Foxy which I'm not sure, I don't know. I can't get these names Foxy I would automatically think Redhead because of foxes um, so I'm not really sure. The other one I've got is Bombshell which I would think was blondes. Um, so I'm not exactly, I'm not, I'm not even sure if that, this one is Foxy. No, Vamp. Yes, this one's Vamp. I'm getting confused. So this one's Vamp. So yeah, I would take that to being dark hair really. Um, very vampy, Dita Von Tees type dark hair. So that's what this one's like. Now all of the HD Brow palettes come with these two colours in the bottom. So you get like sort of almost a highlight sort of shade and then a very dark shade. It's because these palettes are designed not just for eyebrows but you can also use them as eyeliners and eyeshadows. Um, so you do get those two colours always in there. Um, this is quite a nice colour but it's quite deceiving in that it goes on quite beigey, taupey coloured. Um, but they are very nice and I have actually used this one as an eyeliner before. For, just not out of this palette because as you can see these two are untouched in this palette so this is vamp and I don't use it very much in fairness you can see it, it has had some usage there is some denting in the, the actual pans themselves um, this is quite dramatic and very dark and if I have wanted a dark dramatic brow then this is the one that I've reached for um, particularly with the warmer color it's just very dark really um, but this color here is very nice beautiful for a very dramatic brow where you don't want too much warmth in it you just want it you know it's quite cool tone that color so that one is vamp and I got these in glossy boxes and these retail for $19.99 I think you can only buy them um, via the stockist which is online or via telephone um, but these are fantastic I love them then this other one is the one I use all the time which is bombshell so this one is for blondes I would take bombshell to be blonde blonde bombshell um, but this is the one that suits me best because I do have fair brows these are the colors that match me best um, and it's quite similar to another product that I've got colour wise. Again the bottom two products which I have used in this palette um, and you do get a little brush with them that one's just not in. Um, the brushes are quite nice but they're not what I choose to use but if I was traveling then you know that would be okay and I would use that brush but it's not something that I would automatically reach for and I'll show you which brush I currently use. <laughs> nearly dropped it. Um, so yes, these are very nice colours. You've got one that's got slightly more warmth than the other one and I like that. I like that they give you sort of a cool tone brown and then a warmer brown and because it gives you that option and it also kind of caters to all different kind of skin tones and it depends on what kind of makeup you're putting on also. But these are very nice. They come with a mirror which is grubby in this one. <laughs> 
but the packaging is very nice. Now when these came with the glossy box, because I was lucky enough that I got two glossy boxes and two completely different colours, um, but when it came the packaging was pretty poor. Now the one that came with the most recent glossy box, and I'm lucky because I got foxy this time, so I now have a third colour in the in the range. I don't know how many they do, whether they just do the three. I think they do just do the three, so I've got all three colours now. The packaging is much improved, it's not fallen to pieces and it does have the name stated on the front. And I will open this one and show you it because this is what it looks like when they're brand new. So it's actually got um, a wrapping on it and it covers the front of it. And there's no harm in me taking that off to show you. So shiny, <laughs> so shiny and pretty. And it's actually got the name printed on the front, um, which these ones don't. And the name on the back of these is so small, it's oh, it's horrendous to see. Luckily this one's bombshell and that's vamp, so you can literally just look at it and you can see how long the writing is and then you know that it is bombshell. Um, but this one has the name printed clearly on the front in white, which is a great improvement. And then this is what the colours are in here. And these are lovely, these colours are going to suit me also. Um, uh, this one here actually looks a lot lighter than it originally was, and I think it actually is, I think they've lightened that one up yeah um it's a bit darker in the other one but those colors are very nice i really like that i think you know they're gonna suit me as well so i'm pretty happy to have that i'm not as i say i'm not i'm not using that yet that one's actually in the stock drawer because and i don't need it i've got a couple of other things on the go and i don't, don't want to start using it just for the sake of it really um but i was really happy to get this one in my glossy box it's really good so those are the hd brows now if you didn't want to purchase something online or via Ford and you wanted to get something more high street then you've got a couple of options really. Um, on the higher end, I know it's not strictly high end but what I consider to be higher end just because it's a lot more expensive is the Urban Decay Brow Box. Love the packaging on this, it's like a little, I don't know, like a little chest of drawers, it's fancy, it looks really nice, it's got the metal on the top of the embossing in it, really nice. Um, and then it's got two sections to it, so you open up the top the whole of the lid is a mirror which is very good it's good they didn't just put a tiny mirror into the lid it's the whole of the lid I don't use that as a as it happens I use a mirror that has a 10 times zoom on it I like to really see what I'm doing with my brows because you don't want to make a mess of them I always came with little tweezers which I actually have in my purse <laughs> um, I carry those around with me because they're lovely little tweezers and it comes with a little brush which is okay it's good enough it's it's an angled one and it's quite nice and I have used it so this one is in beige betty and those are the colours and as you can see they are really quite similar I like that these are cool toned ones to be honest they haven't got a lot of warmth to them and I really like that and they are very dented and you can see that they have been very used and then what I like about this product is there's a little sort of thing there and you just push it and it pops open and that's got your brow set and gel in it and they give you a massive amount really good because some of them just give you a tiny little amount and it's really not enough because there's a lot of brow product in there and you really you know you need a good amount of brow gel to set them so this is very nice brow gel to be honest I like this and it's got a little bit of a color to it um, but yeah so I can't remember how much this was I've had this for a very long time and I absolutely love it but I want to say it's it's above 15 pounds I think um, so that's that's what I consider more high-end but that's because I don't really have any genuine high-end sort of Chanel sort of you know YSL type brow stuff but that's what I consider high-end to me as is the HD brows and it's probably something that I would never choose to spend that much money on in fairness um, I like that I got the, I love the HD brows uh, fantastic they're great that they were free of the glossy books but I'd never spend 19.99 on a brow product and the reason for that is there are good ones on the high street and I'm going to show you some of those now. Now one of them unfortunately ran out quite some time ago but it is one of my favourite brow products and it is the Gosh Brow Palette. Now the Gosh Brow Palette is presented in a circular sort of compact. It looks very much like a powder compact and in there you've got three colours and then you have your brow gel and they're beautiful. I used it till I hit pan and totally used up two of the colours all together and almost used the third one up but the third one was a touch dark and it wasn't something I reached for a lot and I used all the gel so it was very used very loved and uh, I probably would I will repurchase not probably I will repurchase that in the future because uh, I think it was around seven to eight pounds that's still quite expensive but I thought that it was a good price because you know you get a, a lot of product really you don't use much on your brows 
and I like that it had the gel in there as well. So that was that one and this one is a similar sort of concept except the packaging is different. So this one is from Fashionista. This was either $7.49 or $7.99, can't remember. It's matte black and it's just got eyebrow kit in shiny writing all over it. Very nice. I like it. I think it's really nicely packaged. Um, the whole of the lid is the mirror. Another fantastic thing about it. You've got a good sized mirror there. Um, in this come your tweezers which are slanted which are perfect for plucking eyebrows and you also get a little mini brush and I have used the mini brush and it's fine as well um, it's you know I, I would take that with me now you get good sized um, products in here and I like that you get a dark a medium and a light in here in fact really you could get somebody with dark hair medium hair and blonde hair and everybody could use this palette which is I think why they've done it this way um, but you could also I tend to mix colors which is what I do with the HD brows so I will use primarily most of the lighter one and then just a couple of sweeps in the darker one and that just gives me that really nice a lovely color not too dark and just a nice balance and um, but I have actually used all three colors in this one and then it comes with a gel and I love this I actually this gel is very nice so that just kind of sets your brows at the end and I like it when they come with a gel in them that's the thing about HD brows I really wish they'd get rid of the lighter color um, and keep the dark color because it's great to use as an eyeliner but get rid of the lighter color and put a gel in there instead a nice set and gel so that you have two brown colors which you can use for eyebrows or eyeshadows the black color which is great for eyeliner and then you gel to set it and finish everything off I think it'd be much better but this is a, a product, this Fashionista one. I have been using this a lot lately. I think it's really nice and I think it's great value for money. So that's the Fashionista one. Now, what am I going to use? I'm going to use bomb. No, I'm not going to use bombshell. So I'm going to use bombshell for today. Um, but I'm going to talk about sort of other a couple of other products um, that I use. But we'll do that as I go on. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is eyeshadows. Now I've got my Naked palette here, um, but you could use any eyeshadows that are brown and are suitable for your colour. Um, like the MUA Heaven and Earth palette has some lovely browns in it. You can actually use eyeshadows to do your brows because that's essentially what HD brows is. They are eyeshadows, they are powder products. And you can use the Naked palette. Now I used to use this colour here, which is Buck perfect match for me it's a beautiful color it's got a hint of warmth to it and it's not too light so I used to use book for my brows and I've actually I know this is gonna sound crazy hustle I've used hustle but that's because that's got a tint of burgundy to it um, so I have used that because because I'm red and um, the burgundy brown about it actually looks really nice for a dramatic brow and it gives that little hint of red to it so I really liked it so yeah you can use eyeshadows and I sometimes do reach for the naked palette um, or have reached for the Naked palette and use those for my brows. So, now we'll move on to actually doing my brows. So now, when I think, when I talk about shaping my brows, I'll show you basically how I do that. I don't, I would never do it as it is now. Now I used to, I used to just think, okay, so I'm just gonna pluck them. But now I actually think the best way to pluck your brows is actually to put your product on first. Because that gives you a line of where your brows are and how you like them and then you can actually see the hairs that fall outside of that line and you can pluck them then much easier you're not plucking away at hairs and leaving gaps in your brow you're actually just taking away the hairs that are excess and don't fit in with your brow line so I'm gonna put on I usually do a mix so I do mostly the cooler toned and then I take a little dab in with the warmer toned and then I just get this mirror and I tend to do a thinner line on the outside of the brow. Actually, I'll just do it in that mirror and then you can see better. And then the inner corner is a little bit thicker naturally. So I tend to just thicken that out there. I think I've gone a bit crazy there. <laughs> um, and then we'll do the same with this side. So again, I'm just going down and stay with that natural thickness that I have here and then just fine line in here this is where i have the most of my sparseness on the outer corners so i just basically go very fine over those areas and i'm happy with that and then what i'm using right the brush i'm using is actually from the real techniques collection and it's actually from the eye kit um which i think is five brushes in the eye kit and this is the brow defining brush and i love it 
it's not too thick you don't want a massive thick one because you want to be able to control the depth of the line of your brow because you don't you might not want thick brows <laughs> um it's also it's just a beautiful angle it's nice and sharp and i think you get just the perfect finish this is the only thing i really use for my brows these days because it's amazing so i use that to put um the product on i like to clean my brushes as i go i actually just cleaned my brushes um deep cleaned them the other night so um yeah right so the next thing that i would do is i would then take my mirror and look and see are there any strays outside of the line that I've just done now there isn't really because I actually just did these yesterday um, but I can see on there so if there is I basically just go in and pluck out those and it's great because I know I haven't gone into my natural line I'm not going to create any gaps and I'm not going to left be more patchy than it was before so I would re highly recommend that that's if you do pluck your brows that's how you do it because it's just it's what works for me so plucking done I then will get brow gel if I'm not using the little brow circles kind of things that are in the fashionista palette then this is the brow gel that I love and it is from gosh and this is actually a define brow gel it's specifically for gels but what I also find is very good for your brows are you can get MUA's clear mascara fantastic does the same job and collection 2000 is all I ever used to use and that is the clear mascara from collection 2000 and I used to define my brows with that because basically that's all it is really it's just a, a clear sort of mascara that allows you to kind of set them and you know make them look very groomed in a way so that's what I use I can't remember how much this was but I don't think it's more than six pounds it's really nice so I do that and then sometimes you might want to create a little bit of light under your brows um, and I like the Lumi Magique by L'Oreal for that just like to put a little underneath and use my finger and just blend it out and this really just kind of accentuates the the line that you've already created and just gives that little bit of light on the brow bone and that's it now, I don't do that every day I'm not you know I'm definitely gonna be honest about that I've done it in this video because it's something that I sometimes do sometimes I just use a white shadow or a sort of pearlescent white just to give that little bit of a highlight on the brow bone I think it just looks quite nice it just gives your brow bones I think a little bit more of a definition it makes them a little bit more striking um, but that's, yeah, that's that so that's the brows done I think I look a lot better once my brows are done because I kind of feel like my face isn't framed properly until I've done my brows um, but that's it so that's my eyebrow video that I've been promising for some time I hope you've enjoyed it and that some of your questions or queries have been answered and if you have any more questions about brows and doing your brows then please feel free to leave them below or any comments and yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon bye